Okay, so apparently hitting record doesn't do the same thing as hitting unmute my microphone. So I stopped the last recording. I was talking about currents coming in this way and building up a wall at Garnar due to currents wrapping around. So, uh, here, generally wrapping around, producing a barrier where there are then four inlets past the barrier and essentially the cardinal directions this inlet this inlet this inlet and this inlet probably this too is part of this but maybe the combination of the two cause the end result of how it looks like <clears throat> But the, so those currents are then flowing into Grenar, into it, and building up a wall with the exterior current that's also wrapping around and into it. So cause some of the current here is flowing into Grenar, but a lot of it's just it's just kind of walking around Grenar, like, hey Grenar, what's up? You know, hanging out, just rolling around it, doing like a, a Grenar paracrama, this whole. ring like it has a ring it's not just a hexagon it also has like a galactic disc out to here ish with this little segment so currents coming here are kind of just flowing and then although it looks like some of them break off here but wrapping around and flowing back, and just kind of stuck here, where they're just gonna shove through, and then kind of probably meandering back around, and then hit into this flame, and then once they pass the flame, if they if they make it, if they don't just go up that way, there's just because of pressure, like there's just pressure moving them around, so it kind of builds this ring, this galactic disc, this like ring of the planet of Gurnar that is this region where the currents oops, are just flowing around it and so when currents come within it they then push up to the boundary and essentially especially over here where it looks like the currents were mostly coming in from this side due to due to the flame of current coming from here, Shatranje, Palatina, this region. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Any of it right, really. And then it flows over here, and then the flame comes in this side, so it almost inevitably is therefore the flame is generally pushing energy this way to to drill into the boundary that this side is creating and down into it just down because it's hitting resistance and that starts to then dig into the basement rock enough to bring up materials that then lead to a ring structure that has granophyre and is distinguishable And as it's doing that, though, the current is coming across and wrapping around here, here, tangentially from here inlet to wrap around and just kind of hang out here. It's probably related to why these are so wet rounded also, not just the outside, but because this current was coming in below Mount Grenar almost inevitably because of the positioning of it like it's north of and so it probably came in this way causing a vortex here which then participated in producing this boundary out here where it was the only really 
major influence. Like there's another inflow over here, but I don't know. I don't know. It's just not the, it's not the flame. It's not the flame. So maybe the flame helped dominate the shape of things going on here. Okay. Causing a vortex, though, but then, like, the current coming in through here, in the same way as some of the current wrapping around it, just kept wrapping around it and didn't go into Gurnar. Only some of it's going in, and a lot of it is, is just wrapping around it. <clears throat> in that same way, um, it's not all going into Grenar and wraps around it. And some of it goes over this way to a point where it passes like a point of no return. Like it's the, the energy that comes over along this wall that's forming. Following that trail there is caused to just wrap around here and start to spiral. And so when it does that, because there's a current coming this way, at this spiral, it starts to basically resist. And so it, it builds into this boundary line that then allows for these little string, this string, not just that or per or peak, but also this hill and this hill within this boundary, this region between the grano fire and the the spirals boundary, because this the currents that were flowing this way were able to wrap around like that and just fill that region. Similar to how it's going on down here, currents coming in along <coughs> along the edge of the boundary then just eddy off the side <clears throat> along the edge of the boundary then just eddy off of the side and then eddy off of the side and eddy off of the side and produce these this string of hills which maybe even points a Joganya hill here which is part of this ring maybe as like a point where this current and the the overall current re-merge like this it comes down around here and interestingly <clears throat> Joganya Hill <clears throat> So I watched a bunch of these trying to get I think it's also Joe Maybe if I put Gernar actually. Yeah. I think this one has good footage. <clears throat> this is inside of the hill. Not the best angle, I think, because it's sideways, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, maybe. There's a a lingam there. One of these that I think is natural. That's my, my interpretation thus far until I see evidence otherwise. I think it's naturally formed by this process. So if we just exit here just on the side of this hill there's an inlet into the hill <clears throat> just go into the hill 
through this way. I think it's just right there. <clears throat> and it has, I think one of, one of these videos, let me just <clears throat> see if I can find them. Must be in Grenar. Let's just go through these. Not much. I don't know what's going on there. <clears throat> Some rocks. So we do see like a probably like a hexagonal type turns here, and also interlocking grids. <laughs> Interesting. Like I wonder if that's how they structure themselves. Like adjacent polygons will have just interlocking grids, but this one opened up enough for us to see it. literally opened up like I said to me this wall, wall is smooth because a current flowed and it physically vortexed in here which then physically led let me see if I can find a better picture this to a current wrapping around in here literally wrapping around in here shaping the floor, the wall, this whole region, and maybe even creating the entire structure. I'm not sure how much of this is man-made. Like, I don't know, because there's a lot of things in India that are like, dude. There's another one, this, this one. <clears throat> if I go to Bath... Lingo. Lingo. This place, the Shiva Ling here at the temple, is said to have emerged of its own divine intention. It just was there. No one made it. The Shiva Lingam. Maybe so too with the one in Joganya Hill. I'm not completely certain because the wall looks natural like currents were flowing like there was an eddy of some space creating energy like an ether flowing in here vortexing in the hill perhaps in relationship to the fact that there's a current coming across here producing a vortex here around Gurnar, as well as around the very edge and wrapping up into to colliding past this boundary that this system's able to create. So then it collides up here with the with the current that's just enough to like create a vortex which then opens up a space and also creates literally Shivaling of this nature. Maybe even this, uh, like a ring, like the disc of the Gurnar, like the. Like, um. Wherever it may be. I must have an earth somewhere. There it is. This thing. The disc of Gurnar. Gurnar. Maybe on a different dimension. It looks a lot like this. I don't know. I'm not completely certain this is just someone put this here. I don't know that for certain. And I'm not going to just assume it because people who listen to me would like for me to. Because this is a magical place with magic happening to create it. <laughs> and, uh, that's that. Like, this, like, the wall, how's the wall explained? Like, if we're gonna just say, like, someone came, did someone come in and just scoop this all out? Like, smooth it out, make it look like there was a flow that wrapped back around and literally created a wave on the wall here. Like, what are we gonna do about this? We gotta acknowledge it f it's fact. 
this may be, maybe not, I don't know. I don't want to say absolutely, unequivocally, that it's not man-made, that there might just be some basic thing there that was barely noticeable, and they just kind of decorated it, kind of like the flowers and all. There's also a snake here. Maybe ties into the currents. So that place, though, right there, has caves that have chakras in them, it seems. Here's Babneth. Here's the other. So there's a vortex here. I mean, it looks like there, it could feasibly be vortex going this way, inlet coming this way through Babneth. That just cross paths and then create a natural, divinely emerging Shiva Ling that then is considered to have emerged of, it, of its own intention because it did. It didn't. No one put it there. It just was there. Someone walked up on it and was like, What in the freaking how in the. And they just were like, Yo, I found this like this. <laughs> and then uh, it's still said to be and people are like well of course that's not how it is let me see if I can find a picture of it there it is no man this one it's got like smooth sides rounded top Like, how is this not a magical place? <laughs> Looks like my brother sometimes. So, where was I? Yeah, that seems plausible that there's a vortex generally forming here, but also one at the center, and then also one at the boundary, at the far boundary here. That just opens up a space between the vort vortexes, vortices, like another proton. Like a proton, maybe this is like a neutron in some, in some way. Proton, proton, proton. <laughs> Many neutron, I don't know. But the current comes in. All right. All right. I think I'm. Uh, I think I am gonna pause now until I have some more information to say. And those last two ones will be a little shorter than the first two of this inadvertent four-part series. But I kind of lost my train of thought after the uh, just pause, stopping my recording. <laughs> of the third one and then doing some other stuff and now I feel like I've kind of caught up to what I was talking about in that moment was of this vortex here which I feel like I just explained then it's this is on that side of things it does seem explained so maybe maybe we can make some sense of this little patch here I'm not sure that I drew it correct Exactly, like if we look at the map, I'm just, I just copied the map here onto the actual map to have a more like direct thing to look at and to write my own things on top of and make my own details too because I felt it needed more details inclusive of the map itself. 
<clears throat> but this one here, it seems to be separated. And maybe it is related to the fact that there is the second system here. Which then just kind of creates some pressure over here. Leading to another... Another, um accumulation of sufficient olivine gabbro to detect it and label it on the map like that <sighs> let's see if i'm saying that right olive olivine pronunciation Olivine. Olivine. Okay, I got that one. Gabbro. That one that one's probably Gabbro. Gabbro, okay. Gabral. Gabral? Gabbro. 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 Olivine Gabbro. Okay, cool. I got it. Yeah. I'm just thinking if that's got like neutron, if that's like how a neutron forms. There's so much potential for chemistry in this kind of thing, guys. And gals. We got so much potential for finding some, like, fundamental truths by analyzing structures like Mount Gurnar for their, like, chemistry within them. I don't, I mean, obviously it's complex, so that's one of the downfalls to that. Is it's very complex, but that doesn't mean it's unachievable. Like, certainly there's parallels where we can start to make the connections to at least get, like, a framework to to provide a pathway of entry to then see more nuance. Like, I, I believe that this vortex, coupled with this vortex, then collide and build mass, which then this vortex brings along with it over from the more higher pressure side to then, as it's moving along here, the currents, they're physically bringing material that build up when they then separate they created mounds that are visible and maybe that's how it fueled it like if this was still going it would just be pulled into the middle pulled in and then the next one would continue to rotate and that would pull a piece and some chunks which would then get rotated in along the same pathway type of thing and as it's just building until it finally builds enough resistance, like it's big. The current's just not able to pass anymore. The whole system, there's not as much current because it's just able to have released enough energy and pressure that the currents are subsiding. All the reasons that it just stops where it stopped rather than continuing. Um... Yeah, so maybe it wrapped around here and kept wrapping around, but then maybe it also went out that way, because this this flow is going this way. So if it's if there's a current wrapping around this granite fire, maybe some of it exited there and cut across here, but some of it continued on and exited up here to a degree. But can, uh, probably continued on based on just the shape. I think this was pretty, like, pr pretty close to where they were drawn uh, over here. So maybe the current wrapped around it more so and went out of here and just joined over here. Or went around also, like also going around here and being part of this current. So joining one of those currents, either joining this vortex or this vortex at that point here and depending on which path it took then creating another mound around it where then uh, the outer part I guess starts to branch off enough to stop putting pressure on it but there's channels coming in at that point too so there's a pressure pushing in outward from the from this inlet side of things that are cutting in and just flowing this way. Well, I don't know why I would do that. It's 
flowing in the spiral though is counter to it. It should really unless the spiral wrapped around like this. Let's draw on top of this for a second. I'll undo it. Like that. No? Oh. Uh, whatever. You get my... I don't want to mess this up if I, my computer needs restarted. <laughs> um, okay. But maybe it came around there. Let's find the actual image of Garnar. Like the, this mound here. Maybe it, the vortex generally spiraled in this way. To here. Like in there. Around and in that way. Rather than here. Because then this part comes up here. This like had enough pressure to build a wall here to keep the vortex over in this region, I guess. And not to reach here. Which then pushed out, which also was met on the other side with currents, I guess. Which were then bending away and coming up bouncing off of Garnar and away up this way to flow up into this region to collide with the barriers here and produce this. Whereas this current is coming across and into Garnar, like this region is just across here, is a, whereas everything else around it is going Oh, the other way, this way is coming into Garnar and creating a spiral here. But like down here is going around it. Up here is going around it. From back here. That's branching off. So the current coming across here that didn't just keep going, that branched off not this way but down here. That then for, I guess maybe it hit something here too to make it... Whatever's going on there with the discoloration, maybe, like a wall here, just kind of funnel it this way, too. So it kind of came this way and carved energies that way. Wrapping around it while this just field into it. Creating granofire here in indetectable quantities, and especially down here because the vortex was putting energy down that way. More so than that way. The, the energy that came to the top side hit the backstop here, pretty much, and that's why this region exists, I guess. Is This is just hitting a backstop. It reached in as far as it could, and just then maybe that's just how it like created. It held the pressure. It held the held the front while Garnar balanced to its equilibrium and then froze in place and also went in directly to the mountain but then also wrapped around it the whole of the current coming from here also being caused just to take the path of least resistance over here away from it to take the long take the long route take the scenic route make the scenic route <laughs> uh, wraps around creates that or purr and this that that really shapes them into being creates this thing probably like this might be kind of similar where the flows kind of came in hit the pressure of the olivine gabbro and because it's basalt it couldn't go through it because it was elevated enough so instead it just went around it here and maybe that created this structure in the process <clears throat> and then it goes down this way it's like a ping pong table that's getting directed down this ta this 
this direction and wraps around, hugging the wall, getting past this barrier point, because that's like the inlet channel. But then this thing spiraling is then producing an outlet as well. So there's like a collision here that then leads to this and an outlet drainage. Usually they don't have these fans outward like this. They're usually single inlets around the mountain, it, it appears, or single outlets. Here there's a single, in there's a, a fanning feature because it formed actually from a current leaving the mountain where most of the currents are entering the mountain so it's it's uh visible did i just erase something i might have erased some name <laughs> something that redo pencil okay good good um okay Yeah, so it comes across, wraps around here, but this coming across here, it just starts to create a vortex here. Perhaps even related to where the grano fire was able to form. Like maybe it only went through this channel, really, between grano fire and Lassa Powin to come over this way where like the granite fire was formed of more over here but it just got physically moved to close off this valve kind of thing because of the inlet pressure just pushing against it from the flame which is essentially spanning probably like here to here about the, this x size here so like part of it was running into this and just deflecting away, maybe carving also, like deflecting away, but carving in here, and just running right into Grenar that way, cutting across the stream. So there's crossing streams that are able to cross each other because of how much current there is through the stream. It just crosses through where this is cutting through this way, causing a vortex here, here, here. And maybe there is some indication of where they crossed based on some vortices, like, in the region. I don't know. <clears throat> maybe that. It, it created it here, but it just moved it over here. Maybe this flow has something to do with this, and it's not just this and general flow and this general flow, the rotations. Probably all of them, and this one probably is related in some way, because it was, a, it was crossing the path. So it's probably creating a vortex that was then bringing in certain materials, and in this case it was creating a positive, uh, high density of olivine gabbro, or high, whatever it is, I don't know if density, whatever this material, or low density, I don't know, uh, and maybe also like a negative to it of the Bordevi region, I don't know. just thinking there's ridges also at 90 degree angles this one right here relative to this one is 90 degrees this one down here relative to this one is 90 But this one down here is different. It has a 30 degree bend. 30 degree bend off of this one. This goes straight up 90 degrees off of east west to go this way, but then it goes another 30 degrees that way. 
This one goes, I think, 120 degrees off of east-west here, or 60 degrees off of this way. And then it goes another 30 degrees. <clears throat> so they have bends in these ones. Vortex. Looks like it also maybe bends up there a little bit. In that stretch similar there, like not from here to here, it having a different angle than the rest of it to a degree. Like if there's a vortex. I'm just trying to think how this structure happens. It makes more sense from a currents causing its perspective, from just like pressing in on it from four sides. Although maybe it's a combination of the two, pressing in on it from four sides and a vortex. Kind of holds certain materials in position while basalt rotates around it and moves those certain materials to then conglomerate with them. Like the olivine gabbro, it's kind of out here intermixed, just kind of as the vortex occurs, just brings it in and separates out. But then also, just all, all of it, because of this compression from four directions and, and the vortex, that makes some sense to me. Okay. I think I'm going to stop here and uh, return when I have some more cool thoughts. See y'all later.